All right, so right now we are going to go over defining our audience, specifically where they're located, making sure that we're targeting people that live in the area, and how we can break things down by mileage as far you know how far out they live and they're located by their age by their gender by their language things of that nature but specifically within this section so we are going to come into this area right here is where we're really focusing on so obviously we want to select the area we want so let's just say for intensive purposes here let's do reno nevada now you'll notice something i did reno nevada but it also gave me an option for reno dma for the actual market so if i select this you will notice that currently right now it's drawn a radius around there of 25 miles but if i go and chose reno in the DMA, it outlines you know, a lot more of the surrounding area. So obviously be aware of that when you're setting up your own ads, experiment and look at the options that come up, right? So I had seen that and obviously there's other things that you'll see that appear in the menu that you'll be familiar with the Reno Tahoe International Airport is the actual airport for the city. So there's certain things to be aware of. If I was to just do Reno Stead, Nevada, it went and did a whole different portion of Reno. So just wanted you to be aware of that first and foremost, and obviously pay attention. So real quick, since I have this up before I just delete it, you'll notice there is this drop down menu and it gives you the option to exclude a specific location so hypothetically maybe in your area that you're wanting to target there are specific places that you don't want included for example in reno there's a neighboring uh, city called sparks so i could type it up go in here and now say I didn't want to type or uh, include Sparks, Nevada. Obviously, Reno is right in this area and Sparks is over here. So utilizing the radius targeting, it's kind of hard to define that, but you'll get the point of, as you further get down, let me just give you a better example, 89431. There's certain zip codes that you could target specifically, right? So maybe I didn't want this zip code included in the targeting that I went. So defining things by zip code will probably be a better option instead of having to do the specific city. Because as you had seen when I did Sparks Nevada, it overlaid within Reno. But when I do Sparks specifically, uh, excuse me, the zip code specifically, it goes to that defined area. So keep that in mind. If there's certain areas of town that you don't want your ad to go to, then obviously you go define and add that zip code then go ahead and put exclude. So now, as you see, it turned red. It's no longer an option when we're serving these ads. So real quick, we'll start from the top and we'll go from our way down and the locations portion. Right now it's defining everybody in this location. Now, if we notice, I don't want this one in particular and I will remove this one because that was just for showing you how to exclude. Right now it's showing 390,000 people and it's defining everybody, right? This is everybody that lives there, everybody that's traveling there, uh, roughly with, within uh, Facebook's audience reach. Now, if I go down and do this drop down menu, we obviously want people who live there, right? We don't want those that are traveling or that have recently been there. We want those that live there. So we do that and I mean, you know, almost 25% of our audience got reduced. So. 90,000 people now that we didn't want them to see our ad will now no longer see our ad. So that's step one. Step two is obviously defining the radius. You know, do you want to go down as, as low as 10 miles? Or do you want to go out as far as 50? So 
you know, keep those things in mind. And then as we had seen, as far as excluding the location, you have the ability to do that. And just in case, once again, let's just say we wanted to go for a specific zip code and we did not want that included. We'll just go to exclude location. It's no longer, it's on the chart, but if you noticed, it's red from the, uh, as obviously our target area is blue. So I'll bring this back in. Now we'll get into some more magical portions, right? So now we can define the age group, right? If you know who you want to target and want to deal with, and you are saying, hey, I know that women between the ages of 35 and 45 are really going for the specific offer that we have and we're able to give them, right? There's a particular loan that really gets their attention. So now we can define the women, 35 to 45, that live within a however many mile radius of your town. And it'll give you an estimated potential reach. So the next thing is the languages, right? Obviously we have English and there's two different kinds. I usually just select all because to me it's, it's applicable. I mean, there might be certain, certain words that are spelled differently within the uh, UK version, but essentially they're both the same. And then uh, Spanish, right? If somebody's a Spanish speaker, target that ad specifically for Spanish speaking folks. You know, if it's Italian, you can go for them. If there's a specific type of language that you speak or that you know that you can get into and have relationships with the people, then obviously utilize that for your advantage. So that will be the, the end of this one. You see that drawing line right there. I'll get into the next section here in the next video.